Hi, and welcome to Cinch. This is a video guide to sending your first RCS message using the Cinch Conversation API. We will walk you through how to set up your Cinch app with RCS and how to configure our Postman collection. Let's begin with setting up your app in the dashboard. You can find your project under the Conversation API page. Here you will find the project ID. Navigate to the Apps page and create a new app. Name it and select your region. Inside your app, you can also find your app ID. To configure RCS, scroll down and find RCS under Channels. Then set the sender identity to your available RCS sender. Note that unlaunched senders are also shown, requiring you to whitelist your phone number. If you are unsure or encounter other problems, please contact your account manager. Next, we'll need to generate an access token for Postman. Go to Access Keys under Settings and create a new key. Make sure to save both the key ID and key secret. We will be using OAuth authentication, which you can read about in the Conversation API documentations under API Reference. Copy the curl command into your terminal and insert your key ID and key secret. This will give you a short-lived access token, which typically will last you one hour. Now it's time to configure your Postman. Open Postman, then import our Postman collection, which can be found under API Reference. Go to Authorization. Select Bearer. Then paste in your generated access token. Next, go to Variables and paste in both the Project ID and App ID. Make sure the URL corresponds to the region you configured your app with. Let's now try to send a message. Go to the collection and navigate to Text Message. We will alter the request to dispatch messages directly to your mobile device. Everything you need to know can be found in our API documentations. Make sure to include the regional code in the phone number. Now let's give it a try. And there you go. If you didn't receive a message, check if your mobile device has RCS enabled. Now we'll also want to get the delivery report and see any messages sent back to our sender. This can be done with webhooks. First, go to webhook.site. A link can be found on the API reference page. Here you'll be able to see all events. Copy the provided URL, then go to your app on the dashboard. Scroll down and add a new webhook. Paste in the webhook URL, then under Triggers, add Message Delivery and Message Inbound. That's it. Let's see it in action. Now when we send out messages, we'll be able to see the request delivery report. And if we get a reply, we'll see that too. Our Postman collection also includes examples of all conversation API message types and more that you now can try out. With RCS, you can send choice, cards, and carousels, to name a few. But since Conversation API is omnichannel, the same request will work on any configured channel. And we are done. Make sure to check out our developers and community pages. We hope you enjoyed this guide and found it useful.